highlighted, not enough aid is getting into Gaza. And so the Department of Defense is supporting Tush. Thanks, General Ryder. So you mentioned that discussions are underway about the Maritime Corridor, and there have been renewed calls in Congress to send a hospital ship to the area, um, including by Senator Angus King. So is that something mm -hmm. that are, is being discussed as well, in addition to this Maritime Corridor? Yeah, thanks, Natasha. Uh, again, I don't have any specific details to provide other than, again, we're going to work closely with the interagency to look at uh, what the requirements are, how best to meet those requirements. And as I mentioned, that could include both commercial or contracted options. Um, but uh, recognizing that the DOD has unique capabilities, um, that's what we will bring to the discussion. Uh, but again, I don't want to get ahead of that, that planning process. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Um, so given that there are aid trucks at the border waiting to go in that are being held up, um, this seems like it's putting the U.S. in a position to have to airdrop aid, which is known to be more dangerous and expensive. Is the Pentagon frustrated that it's being put in this position due to how Israel is conducting its operations? Uh, the Pentagon doesn't get frustrated. We just get busy. So, um, so I mean, clearly, as the president has highlighted, not enough aid is getting into Gaza. And so the Department of Defense is supporting that broader U.S. government effort to help contribute to that. Certainly, we want to see more aid being delivered via ground routes. Uh, and again, this is part of the discussion that we're having with the Israelis in terms of how can they work to ensure that those routes are open uh, and that aid can get in quicker. You know, it's obviously a very complex situation on the ground. It's not like trucks can just drive in. There ha there's a screening process. And then, of course, there's safety and security of getting that aid to certain locations. Um, but all that to say, again, as you heard the president say, uh, aid is not getting in fast enough. And so these airdrops that we started over the weekend are, part, are intended to help supplement those efforts. But we won't stop there again. We'll, USAID and others will continue to look at ways that we can expedite uh, aid getting into Gaza, also in coordination with other countries from around the world. Thank you. Let me go back to the phone here. Uh, let's go to Phil St and that aid can get in quicker. You know, it's obviously a very complex situation on the ground. There have been renewed calls in Congress to send a hospital ship to the expensive. Is the Pentagon frustrated that it's being put in this position due to how Israel area, um, including by Senator Angus King? So is that something that are, is being discussed as well in addition to this maritime corridor? Yeah, thanks, Natasha. Uh, again, I don't have any. Thanks. Um, so given that there are aid trucks at the border waiting to go in that are being held up. Highlighted, not enough aid is getting into Gaza. And so the Department of Defense is supporting Tush. Thanks, General Ryder. So you mentioned that discussions are underway about the Maritime Corridor. and include both commercial or contracted options, um, but uh, recognizing these in terms of how can they work to ensure that those routes are open. Uh, any specific details provide other than, again, we're going to work closely with the interagency to look. Um, this seems like it's putting the U.S. in a position to have to airdrop aid, which is known to be more dangerous. Busy. So, um, so, I mean, clearly, as the president is, but again, I don't want to get ahead of that, that planning process. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's conducting its operations. Uh, the Pentagon doesn't get frustrated. We just get get uh, what the requirements are, how best to meet those requirements. And as I mentioned, that could be that broader U.S. government effort to help contribute to that. Certainly, we want to see more 